Hello, my name is Brian Kessler, and I'm going to show you how to make an FTP server. And by make, I mean how we're going to set up the FTP server. And we're going to look for a program called FileZilla Server. Actually, let's get that from download.com. And now it's putting all sorts of files all over your computer. Okay, so eventually you're going to see a dialog that looks something like this. Connect to server, uh, ask where the server is. If you're on the same machine, it's going to have the default address of 127.0.0.1. And we kept the default port. If you change the port, you'll need to change the number there. We didn't set the administration password because we took all the default options. If you change the options, you'd need to have a password here. And you can also select whether to always connect to the server or if you're managing different servers, you can keep these options open, which we'll do. Then we're going to hit OK. And now you have the server dialog box. What you're going to want to do is click uh, Edit. And you're going to click Settings. And uh, so what do you need to set in these settings? Uh, you want to check your logging. It's always good to keep a log of what's going on, so let's enable the logging. But if you have a very busy server, you're probably going to want to limit that log size, so let's limit it. Uh, and let's have a new log file every day. And we can change our welcome message. Um, uh, welcome to Brian's files. And we're going to hit OK. Um, but the important thing to change, you're going to want to go to Edit, Users, and we're going to want to add a new user. We're going to call it Anonymous, and we don't need him to be a member of any group. Okay. And he doesn't need to have a password, no pass so we won't check that. If you wanted to have a password, you check that and type a password in. Uh, now we're going to click Shared Folders. And Anonymous is still highlighted over here. And we're going to give them access to a folder. So let's go Add. OK. And we need to select a folder. So I'm going to give it access to my temp directory over here. And so now you can give, determine what type of access. We're only going to leave Anonymous to, with read-only access. But you can see there's also possibilities for writing, deleting, creating, listing, going into subdirectories. We're going to leave all that alone. We're going to hit OK. And it's good to go. Uh, your server is up and running. So that is how to set up a FTP server. Uh, that said, there are some other things you need to know in order for this to work for you. You're going to need to know the IP address on your computer. You're going to need to know how to configure your router to send traffic to your computer, and you're going to need to know the IP address of your router uh, in order to conf tell your friends or family how, actually it's not just your router, um, rather to your cable service, or I your ISP. Uh, you're going to need to know the IP address for that. You might want to set up a domain name to make it easy.